hi you guys and welcome back or welcome to my channel my name is janae chanel and today we're going to be doing a hair video yeah, I gotta hang on. picture and it was so cute i'm gonna insert it right here because i don't remember it straight off the bat but it was such a cute hairstyle and i'm gonna try to do it some people refer to them as like pop smoke braids or whatever but usually the pop smoke braids i see are like really thick or whatever and nah i don't want that so we're about to get right into it so i already blow dried well i washed and blow dried my hair And today I'm gonna be using this hair because it was in my mom's closet and there ain't no beauty supply stores open. So it's the outer jumbo braids, but there's only two. In there's a third one, but like I don't know where it's at. So I'm gonna be using this one. And if we need some more hair, then I'll just go get that third one. Okay, so the way I'm gonna start this, I'm gonna part my hair down the middle. And I've seen people do six and I've seen people do eight. I think I'm gonna do eight just because I want it to look a little bit more full. Now, I don't have any edge control. I only have gel, which no good, but we're going to make it work. So I'm just going to first section my hair off into all the different sections. A little something about me is I don't ever really get my hair done. I just end up doing it myself because I, well, first of all, my mother is a hairstylist. So if I ever do get my hair done, it's by my mother and she does not want us to get our hair done by anybody else. Before when that's happened, it's been tragic. So yeah, but I basically learned myself or from my mother. So I really don't go get my hair done. Cause like, why go pay for something that you can do yourself? I don't know what it looks like in the back. I think it's kind of straight though. I'm not really sure, <laughs> but I'm gonna fix it. Okay, not about to lie, the little middle part just took forever, but I think I got it as straight as I can. I'm gonna start by doing the sections over here. I'm not bad at parting, but like, it can be hard. gonna part each section and just put a rubber band on it because i don't have any clips i don't really know where they went so when you just do when i check the back of my hair check my parts i just take this mirror and then stand back like this they look all right i mean they're gonna work they're good enough and i've seen people put beads on the end which i think is really cute but the beads i have i don't think they're big enough but we still gonna try and see so thin compared to the other side. So now that we got through all the parting, I had to part the back like 10 times and it's still really not that perfect, but you know, it's good enough. I'm just gonna use a scrunchie to hold these back and I'm gonna get started. First, take out the rubber band. And like I said, I don't have any edge control, so I'm gonna have to use gel and you know, we'll see how it works. Not a lot though, cause that's wild. Oh, and by the way, I had to watch another feed and braid tutorial because I've done feed and braids before, but I watch a new video every time because I feel like I forgot. And I'm going to show you the one that I watched because it was so good. Like, it was so perfect for me. So I started by sectioning out seven different pieces of hair because, you know, when you feed it in here, you got to make a section. And they're just on my legs right now. So she just basically go from really tiny to a little bit medium. And that's really it. You don't really go to large because then it becomes too much. So I'm going to start by greasing my scalp. Yes, I grease my scalp because I ran out of oil. And we just, I don't know, we always have grease. Like, it never fails. We always have grease. It's your scalp. You can see through your baby hairs. Okay, after that, comb through. Ooh. Just brush out the end because I don't want to pull my hair out. And now I'm going to take a little bit of gel. I use the wetline extreme, but my family has been using this, so it's kind of running a little bit low. But this is the one I use, and I'm just gonna put a little bit like this. I'm 
just took my edges toothbrush and like brushed it down a little bit. So I'm just gonna start now. And I can remember like, what is it called? Underhand? You gotta like do the most. And it was like, take your piece. Oh. Add another piece. I hope y'all can see what I'm doing. If not, then I will do another clip of it. And you put it towards the front one and the back one. Basically the one that's about to go underneath. So it can be kind of hidden. This might be the best feeding bread I ever did. I'm telling you, that video really helped me. I did these before because that was so much easier so usually I just braid down however much I need to and then I switch to the front and just braid it regularly and this braid gets really long like you see that it's pretty long you know the little knot at the bottom but So I finished this braid, and this is how much hair came out of the knot, but I mean, that's to be expected, not about a lie, so. This part I wish was a little bit more structured, but I mean, so like, y'all think I can leave it. Whew, on to the next braid. Basically, you're gonna do the same thing and grease your scalp, because you don't want your hair to be dry and crusty, and put a little gel. So this braid is a little bit bigger, like the part of it is bigger. So I do have to use, well, you're gonna have to use like a little bit bigger of pieces of your seven. You start, just break down like a little bit. Already hard, like I know my hair is a little thick, but dang, black people are just so talented, I tell you. Cause this is hard work. This is hard because I'm freaking left-handed, so. I can only grab with my left hand. One thing I do want to recommend is don't grab too much hair at once, like of your real hair out of the part, because it'll get a little weird. Don't, like make like a lump kind of. You just want to make sure you always pull tight and don't grab too much hair at once. I'm back it's currently like 3 45 and i started at like 2 30 ish i think but i finished this whole side i think it looks pretty good this braid right here is bothering me but i redid it like three times and it's not looking no better so we're just gonna move on this side and ouch ow and it's basically the same it didn't it's not really hard like you kind of get the hang of it after your first like two braids or even one braid so don't be scared to do this or even try it because it's really not that hard if you watch that man's video that i watched then it'll be so easy i'm telling you 
because he said some really good like it was just great it was great okay that's it catch y'all in like three seconds okay so it's currently like 4 20 something i guess and we finished all of our braids this is how they look can you see you got a good view you see so now i just have to rebraid the ends a little bit because they came out a little bit clean up this hair and go dip my ends so let's go we moved to the kitchen and i'm about to dip my ends i don't know why i said kitchen like that that was kind of weird the thing about me with braids like braids in my head look so like circular but these are my ends i rebraided them and i'm just holding them so they don't come back out because i don't feel like braiding them again and we're waiting for the water to boil on the stove you want this water to be hot you see that hotter than that so this is the ends after i dip them these guys are so cute even without the beads that i must put on but Oh, and by the way, these are the beads that I'm putting on. They are from the beauty supply store. And it's Pride Month because it's June. So my hair is still kind of wet, but I'm going to beat it anyway. guys okay so i finished my hair i did little baby hairs and i put my beads on the rainbow for pride and that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video Vampire gotta cook me and Stacy. Dash on a bitch, I don't care if niggas hate me. X6 lift, no belt, no safety. Bag on a bitch if the bitch wanna chase me. She wanna fuck, but that bitch not a 10 no. Please back up, bitch, hands out the benzo. Bitch got mad, put a stain on my window. 